solemn ceremony at St. Peter the Apostle in Jackson. A packed house of family, friends, and clergy, all touched by the devotion of sisters Margaret Held and Paula Merrill, who were savagely murdered in the Durant community where they served the poor. These two talented women weren't attracted to the allurements of fame or money that seem so prominent in our American culture today. In serving the poor, they served the Christ. Sunday, they celebrated the nuns' lives in the very community where they served. Our Lord Jesus Christ. Their sacrifice being turned into a lesson of forgiveness in Jackson. You can't be loving if you're not also forgiving. And I think already, not only for us, but for them, we know that they continue to reach out to people in love and care. Of course you feel some anger, but the reality is that that's not where you're going to stop because you know that we're being called to something else. There is admittedly anger for the senseless crime, but clergy and family members of the victims are asking that if the suspect is convicted, not to give him the death penalty. Death, you know, isn't a punishment. Death is, death is freeing this man. Um, he should, if, you know, he's convicted by, you know, your state, um, he should live every day for his natural born life with this, with his deeds on his mind. In Jackson, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.